Hey everybody, it's Bob from TheKnifeJunkie.com and I wanted to show you this, one of my new favorite knives. This is the Wii Rectifier and it's the first Wii knife in my collection. I don't know why I was holding off for so long to get a Wii knife in my hands, but uh, I did. And uh, when I ended up buying one of these for my brother-in-law for Christmas this year, well, I threw one on the order for myself. I've, uh, I love this tan colored G10 with the black blade. They happen to have one left where I was looking and uh, and that was it. It showed up and man, I have just been so incredibly impressed. Listen to this detent. I mean, it's incredible. So what is this? This is an everyday carry, a fancy everyday carry knife from Wee Knives. We Knives, uh, the high-end Chinese manufacturer that has just blown up over the last two years, being the top OEM for many, many designers and for Mass Drop, and uh, they just, no, whatever they put their hands on seems to be beautifully made. And uh, this We Rectifier really is no exception. Uh, the name Rectifier is odd, but other than that, which has no bearing on anything. I, I can't think of a thing I would change with this knife. Uh, maybe I would make a four inch version of it. Um, so this is S35VN blade steel. And you got this uh, PVD coating here on the, on the flats, which I thought would just come right off, but I should have known better than that. This isn't cold steel late 90s. Um, it's got a G10 slab side here with uh, no liners, just G10. And then on the other side, this beautifully stonewashed, looks kind of like uh, Rick Hinderer's working finish, uh, titanium with the blue anodized titanium hardware. The only marking is right there. It says S35VN, teeny, teeny, tiny. Yeah, the only other marking besides the Wii here and the Wii logo on the pivot. So, I don't know. In my opinion, that is super classy. Uh, the deployment on this is fantastic. It's not drop shutty. Not that that really means good or bad. But uh, it's got a, such a thin and light blade that uh, it, take, it would take loosening that pivot quite a bit to get it to drop shut. Because there is a lot of tension on this lock bar with the uh, detent ball against that blade because there is a very strong, crisp detent. And then, listen. Actually watch it from this side. Beautiful. So it has jimping on top of the blade that's nice just for indexing, so you know where you are at all times. Uh, you, can, you can feel it and it's there. This little thumb swale there is nice too. But the real, good functional jimping on this knife is right here on the flipper, flipper tab. There are a couple of jimps at the bottom and a couple of jimps on the side and I'll tell you what, when it's closed and your finger is there, you feel them and it really helps to throw that knife open. So the, the attention to detail is what I'm getting at. It's so, so nice. I love that little milling, oops, I love the little milling here. Give your thumb a little gription when you go to unlock it. It has uh, all the usual uh, uh, lock bar insert, milled titanium clip, this beautiful titanium backspacer with the, with the jimping. Everything's rounded nicely. I am a huge fan of this knife if you haven't guessed. So why no lanyard on it? Well, I don't want the lanyard to get in the way of the flipping action. Another thing I wanna show is how nicely it sits in reverse grip. I have eh, medium-sized hands. And uh, it fits on there just right. Any bigger, and this, this is gonna be too small for this. But uh, I like that angle there. It's a nice place to hook your thumb over if you have to punch it into something. But uh, you probably don't want to because this is a thin blade and you're gonna, you're gonna mess up that tip. All 
All right, so what does it compare to? Let's see. Let's first, for size, there it is with a Rat 2. Here it is with a Paramilitary 2. And here it is with a Recon 1 2. <laughs> so, pretty small knife. Even a little bit smaller than the Rat 2. Ever so. Oh, I take it back. I take it back. So, what other knives does it compare to in terms of its use and size? Um, one of my favorites this year, or this past year, the Benchmade Bug Out, which is a little bit larger but and a little bit lighter, but kind of in the same realm of utility. Awesome little slicer. Here's the Sage 2 from Spyderco. Kind of a similar shape blade, similar kind of vibe, slightly larger handle. And then for drastically less, but same wheelhouse, I would say, is the Steel Wheel Cut Jack with D2 steel and a plastic handle. And this is an awesome knife. I, I uh, bought this one on a whim, thinking I'd probably end up giving it away. And it's a valuable little knife to have around the shop, so I have kept it. But the, uh, the Wii Rectifier, was a great introduction to Wii knives for me. Like I said, I've liked a lot of designs over the over the uh, past couple of years, but uh, something kept stopping me. First, I it was the Star hardware, the hardware that you had to get the special wrench, star-shaped wrench for, and then it was other things. Maybe my taste shifted for a little while, um, and then they had come out with so much awesome, so many awesome things, especially with the mass drop stuff and and some of the designer things that I felt like I was too far behind to even start because now all these really great knives were coming out from Wii that I wanted and I hadn't even started. So this was my gateway Wii. And then like any junkie, I moved on to something bigger and better. I'm loving this. I'll talk about this in another video. This is the 609 and it has proved to be an awesome knife. So, I don't know, like I've mentioned before, I come from a family of late adopters. I guess we want the technology to be perfected before we dive in. Uh, and uh, so I waited too long to get my hands on a Wii. Uh, but uh, better late than never, and uh, I got some catching up to do. So I'll bring you along on that journey. Don't you love how everything's a journey? I'm gonna bring you on this journey. All right, guys, hope you have a wonderful week, and I will talk to you soon.